10.7 human lymphatic system and first we have to look at the formation of tissue fluid so in addition to the blood circulatory system that you're familiar with there is actually one more system in the body whose function is closely related to the blood circulatory system and this is called the lymphatic system okay so next we are going to look at the formation of tissue fluid also known as the interstitial fluid inter Stitial. So, stitial here refers to tissue. Inter means in between the tissues or the cells, the fluid that is the fluid that is in between these cells. So, the first step is that the blood that reaches the arterial end. Okay, you know that this artery is carrying oxygenated blood. That comes from the heart and therefore it is flowing at a high pressure so upon reaching the arterial end of the blood capillary so it has a high pressure because of the small diameter over the capillaries here and also the due to the pumping force of the heart so this pressure allows the blood plasma still remember the component of the blood the fluid component so the pl blood plasma over here will diffuse continuously from the capillaries to the intercellular space so that means the hydrostatic pressure so they are being forced out to flow out of these um, capillaries to the space in between the cells so next this blood plasma that occupies the intercellular space and they continually bath the cells around it we call it as the tissue fluid the interstitial fluid so this fluid does not contain any erythrocyte platelet plasma protein the reason is because these cells are too large to diffuse out of the blood capillaries so the fluid component is the one that is being forced out without these cellular components okay number four the tissue fluid allows the exchange of materials in the blood and the cells to occur and the nutrients and oxygens diffuse from the tissue fluid to the body cells and at the same time excretory products and the carbon dioxide will diffuse from the body cells to the blood capillaries through the tissue fluids okay so this is how tissue fluid is being formed okay so this is it limbs formation and the components of the lymphatic system um, <clears throat> Now this is the one at the venule end of the blood capillary. Blood plasma is hypertonic as compared to the tissue fluid surrounding it. This is one. Blood plasma is hypertonic to the tissue fluid surrounding it. So from hypo to hyper. Okay, next also we have the blood pressure is also lower at this region okay because the venule end is now um, bigger as compared to the capillary so as a result there will be reabsorption of water mineral salts and waste in the, at the venule capillary however only about 85 percent of the fluid that leaves the blood at the arterial end just now will diffuse back into the renal end okay meaning the one that diffuse out when they have come to this point this will diffuse in but not all not all only about 80 percent will diffuse back so how about the remaining 15 percent that is still at the intercellular space now 
these remain their forms about four liters of fluid that is lost from the capillaries each day. So, how? How does this blood circulatory system going to regain this four liters of fluid that has been lost? Now, this lost fluid is collected and returned back to the blood through the lymphatic capillary. Okay, remember the term lymphatic capillary, which is the smallest vessels in the lymphatic system. And this fluid is known as lymph. Okay, the one that is flowing in the lymphatic system, in the lymphatic vessels, we know is as the lymph. We call it as the lymph. And it is pale yellow in color. Okay, now let's compare between the lymph and also the tissue fluid in terms of similarity. Both contain plasma without the plasma protein, the erythrocytes and the platelets. But these are the differences where the lymph has got high content of fat, higher content of fats and fat soluble substances. Okay, I wonder if you still remember the lacteal, right? The lacteal. And also it contains high content of uh, lymphocytes. Okay, lymphocytes, which is the components of the white blood cells, the leukocytes. Okay, how about the tissue fluid? It has got this low content of fat and fat soluble substances and it's got low content of lymphocytes. Now let's look at the similarity between the blimp and the blood that has both of them has got these contents of plasma, the nutrients, the hormones, enzymes, and also the cellular waste, as well as the gases, respiratory gases, and the leukocytes. Okay, but the difference is that this limb doesn't contain plasma protein, erythrocyte, and platelet because of the large size that fails to diffuse out of the blood capillary. So to say this blood capillary has contained, has got this plasma proteins, erythrocytes and platelets being part of the component itself. Okay.